Hey guys, welcome back to another movie review to all the soccer fans out there. I just got done watching the the, the Manchester Derby. And right now I want to talk about something that is just equally as entertaining and equally as intense. And that is the movie A Quiet Place. How about that for segue? So A Quiet Place is a horror movie directed by uh, John Skrasinski. He also like one of the, the, the writers of the movie. He stars in it. He casts his own wife to play his wife in the movie. This has been one of the most talk about movie like in... Um, like I want to say it's the last two or three weeks like perhaps the most talk about movie in the last two or three weeks and for good reason because this movie is such a breath of fresh air is so unique at least it felt very unique um it directed by a person who is you know in a million years like personally i've never seen that coming like john krasinski the, the funny dude in the office no but then again last year we got get out Directed by a YouTuber, a funny YouTuber named uh, Jordan Peels. So I, 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 I'm I, seeing a pattern here. You know what I mean? I'm seeing uh, like a trend here. Like funny people um, making horror movie. And it, it is working for them. Like this movie is just... is This is one of the most tense cinema experience I've had in a long, long time. And I have to give a lot of credit to the sound department because ironically enough, for a movie called A Quiet Place, you know, and the premise is that all these people have to, they, they can't make any noise, they can't make any, you know, like sound, just like the little sound, you know, could kill them. So for that premise, and for the sound to be that good, to be that well designed, to be so well mixed, so well, you know, utilized, it's crazy, like the sound in this movie, maybe I'm, I'm just so hyped right now, but the sound in this movie is Oscar worthy. Like I know I can't even believe that I'm saying this, but for a movie about a group of people who their entire life, their goal is just to not make sounds, the sound in this movie is crazy good, it's so so damn good, and it, it made this movie. Like, the sound made this movie. That is crazy, like I'm thinking about right now, that is crazy. Like, this movie is called A Quiet Place. It's about people trying to stay quiet. And the most impressive feat that it pulled off is the sound. Or should I say, the lack thereof. And the performance in this movie, oh my god. First of all, let's talk about the kids. Now, they do make some dumb choices, you know, like, you know, like turning on toys, you know, like, uh, knocking off stuff when they're not supposed to, and that kind of stuff, not being as, as careful as they should be. But, I, I mean, at the end of the day, they're kids. Um... And like for a movie like this to work, you you, you need characters to, to make dumb decisions, to, to make mistakes. Um, and I, I feel like having those like little kids making those mistakes is is a bit more un, not unforgivable, a bit more forgivable uh, for me personally because like they're kids. Like when when I was four, when I was eight, I was stupid. I make mistakes. So having those kids making you know uh, that type of mistake. Um, it, it was fine for me. I could see why people have problem with it. And their acting was actually really, really good. Especially the the little girl. I can't remember her name. Like she had a really well developed character arc. That by the end of the the movie, you are really like rooting for her as a character. And the the fact that she's deaf. I, I and I think the the actress is like really the uh, deaf in in real life. So number one, that made the performance that much more real and uh, authentic. And number two, every time that you switch uh, from one character's uh, uh, perspective to her uh, perspective, and the sound is just, just kind of drawn out, and especially when like the monster is just like creeping out of her back, um, and, and like she can't hear it, and like as the audience, you, you can't hear it either, but you can see it, like the monster is coming to to, to get her, but there's no sounds, and it made those sequences so much scarier, like, you know. Seeing the thing coming to get that character that you you care about is one thing. The fact that she can't hear, it, like that she doesn't know it, that's terrifying. John Krasinski he really showed the world in this movie that he really had an emotional and really serious acting chop. He, he is funny. He's funny as heck. Like I'm not just talking about the the Office. I'm talking about like when he um does all the interview and like late night show talk. He is funny. And in this movie, he really turns in, really 
you know, this really caring father um, characters, and you know, you you just you, you feel for him, like you know, like he has to be the head of the the family, and he has to take care of his uh, his wife, his, uh, his his babies. It's it's just a lot on his shoulder, and like you feel for him. But the stands out performance, oh my god, this has to be this has to be some of the best, if not the best acting that I've seen in 2018 so far. Emily Blunt blew it out of the park. I think I talked about this in my uh, reaction to the trailer, you know, by having real life couples playing couples in a movie. I don't know if that makes it um, easier or uh, more difficult for, for the actors, but <laughs> my god, Emily Blunt, she turns in a wonderful, wonderfully crafted, oh my god, I, I just love this character. There's so much depth. There's that's just, oh my god, like, from an actor point of view, you know what I mean? Like, to see, like, oh my god, Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt. There's a scene in a bathtub, that's all I'm going to say. The It's going to be called the bathtub scene. Oh, that was intense, man. Like, whoo. Like, my heart just going... Now, the movie is not perfect, right? I got a couple of flaws uh, with it, and um, this is not much. You know, I still really enjoy this movie, but just a couple of things that I, I, I think is worth mentioning. And uh, number one is... What the hell is that? Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and talk over it. Don't worry about it. Um, it go away. Oh my god, stop! So the one problem that I do have with the movie is, as original and as unique the, the the movie seemed to be, there's still a lot of like tropes and you know like some of the you know very familiar horror trope that was still in there. Like there's a lot of jump scare. Some of them is pretty good, but like there's a lot of like you know hands, bloody hands on the windows, and like character just like pop out of nowhere to like grab another you know, the characters. Um, there, there's quite a bit of them, and it's, it got pretty old, got pretty annoying after a while. You know the the build up, and you know just the um, the the world that they built, and the the atmosphere. They are very very scary, you know, terrifying. But when they have to like deliver a scare, they try to go for a cheap route. They try to go for that jump scare element. They try to uh, realize on that 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 loud sounds that make you sort of jump. But, um, yeah, that, that, that's quite a bit, that's quite a bit more jump scare than I would have wanted. Especially from a movie that, you know, everybody's saying, oh, like, one of the most unique, one of the most original monsters, one of the, like, horror movie that I've seen in a while. There's quite a bit of jump scare, like, false jump scare in this movie, and it's a bit disappointing. And there's something that happened toward the end of the movie that I felt like could have been so easily prevented if someone could have been a bit smarter. Like, I feel like you could say that in almost every single horror movie. If someone has made the connection, like, quicker, like, just... I don't want to, like, I don't want to spoil it, but, like, just, like, just be smart. Just, just stay calm, be smart. I know it's not easy, there's a monster right in front of you, but just be smart about certain things. And that horrible things could have been so easily prevented. A Quiet Place is a really, really well-made horror movie. One of the better uh, directorial debut I've seen in a while. Um, it features strong, strong, amazing actings, um, world buildings, you know, monster design. Just everything you want from a movie like this is unique, is original. There are some tropes here and there, and perhaps more than I would have wanted, but in the end, it's just it's such a good movie. And overall, a terrifying movie experience. And that's a big, big plus. I'm gonna give A Quiet Place an 8 out of 10. Hey guys, thank you for checking out the video. If you've got the chance to see A Quiet Place in the comment section down below, let me know how you feel about the movie. Did you like it? Did you not like it? And if you enjoyed my uh, review, hit the like button, subscribe to me if you want to see more reviews like this. And with that being said, I'll see you soon. Shh.